Hey everybody, this is Mike N2MDX in the shack with another video. And today we have the Shagu Zagu, it's pronounced so many different ways, X6100. There it is. Hopefully we're not getting too much of a glare from the light in the room. So, I've been messing with this thing a little bit and um, the receiver on the thing is outstanding. For a radio this price, the speaker on it is not so great, you know, but, you know, if you can use port of work, I guess, as long as you're not in a, in a noisy area. Um, let me just disconnect the speaker for a second. Let's go with the little one. We're in 10 meters right now. You see, you hear that speaker? Not the greatest. Um... Now I'll plug in some bows. When you're coming in Italy, you are almost 5.10 dB over 9. Let the beat up and So through some nice speakers, through some really nice speakers, this thing sounds fantastic. It's got a big sound. Now, I also noticed something else too. Let me see if you can hear this. You know what, let's disconnect the antenna for a second. Let me see if I can get this. It's got some weird... I don't know. I, I kind of picked up that little noise. It's nothing to cry about, though. Some weird artifacts, but... um. Okay, let's go back to... Now, the filters, you want to know what the filters are for receive. 2.9, which is the first one. And you can adjust these filters by just using this RFK knob. I'm sorry, MFK. Um, and you can adjust that. And then you could defaulted to come back so that's filter one is 2.9 2.4 for the second filter and the third filter is 1.8 now this 2.9 for the receive does not give you 2.9 on the transmit it doesn't even give you the option to adjust the bandwidth filter for transmit and we did a test and I think it's transmitting at 2.4 which is extremely extremely narrow um, And I guess for portable work and QRP, maybe some guys are like, ah, it's no big deal, 2.4. Great to break pileups. But if you want to take it in the house like I would do, want to do, um, let's say I use 2.4 in the field, which is fine. But then when I come in the house, I want to widen it out to 2.9, you know, for a little rag chew. Because I would like to use this in the, in the house. Why not? You know, I think that would be pretty cool. And you can't do that. Now... I tested it on the web SDR and listened to myself. Yeah, it's extremely, extremely narrow. So that's the first thing that kind of like makes me upset about this radio, that you can't adjust the, the bandwidth filters. And, and again, they're selling this as a, not only just a regular portable transceiver, but an SDR transceiver. So you have no adjustment on the TX bandwidth filters. You have no EQ. There's no EQ. I went through everything in, in any of these menus. There's no EQ. Only mic gain and power. So you have no EQ for RX or TX. Again, SDR transceiver has those. Has bandwidth uh, adjustments uh, for the transmit. Doesn't have that. And I like a little processor sometimes. Maybe not in the field, but if I pick the radio inside, maybe I want to hit up a little processor. Don't have that either. So it's very anemic on transmit. But for receive, it's excellent. Again, it depends on what you want to do with this radio. Um... Let's see something here. Let's go to 40 meters. Let me just switch my antenna. Give me one sec. All right. It, again, it's what you want to do. If you're a guy that loves to do camping and portable, and you don't really care about your, you know, audio, you're not an audio guru like myself, which I like audio. Um, 
then this is if this is the perfect radio for you. It does get a little warm at 10 watts when you're constantly, you know, talking. I just think on this radio, they should maybe ex make these fins a little higher. Kind of like, I don't know, if, I think it's like Elecraft that has that. Um, just to, just, you know, get the heat away from the radio a little bit. Um... Cornfield, God's country. Let's see, this is the DNF. Oh, it is, dude, it is. It's on. Mm -hmm. Both of you are good folks, Northwest. Can adjust it a little bit? Northwest. That's the not DNF. Not west, but if you can see that, it's kind of hard. There's a little <laughs> glare in here, I'm My sorry. It would only be a puddle on his. Good Lord. What do you mean the horse is the So that's the, the DNR, uh, DNF. And there's a noise reduction. That's for. Sounds a little underwater. Let's see. Noise, noise reduction, depth one. This is all the way maxed at 60. At 60. So it's totally washed out. So yeah, it could, that the, the NR could get really on the water real quick. So if you're gonna use it, maybe if you're gonna use the NR, probably maybe use it on one or two at best. Noise blinker. I don't have enough noise to use the noise blinker. I guess I'm, it's not. A, I need some weird noise to probably adjust that. Let me see something. Now you hear that skipping when I tune? It almost like it, like it, see right there? You hear that? And it's not the band edge because it does it. There it goes. See, it did it again. It's like it's got to keep, it's got to catch up. Yeah, it did, it did it again. Squelch is off, RF gains at 100. So it's definitely not that. Alright. But you hear that, right? It's like it like loses its receive if you spin it too fast. There it goes. You see that? Weird. Yeah, I don't like that. Um... I was going to do a test with the noise blanket, but for some reason they just can't get the... I'm looking for a certain type of... Yeah, so that's not working. Hmm. Yeah, very faint. Alright, uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, let's check out the decoder. That's pretty cool, actually. Get the messages. All right, so let's go to the modem. Let's go to CW. Put this on CW. It's decoding. It's not bad. Dakota works good.
See if, if he's, maybe he's done talking here. So the decoder works great. Again, so it, it depends on your style of operation. So if you're in the field doing CW, this this thing's like unbelievable. Hook up your uh, your Kia and go to town. So very cool. And there's your other buttons too on top. Your band, your mode. The antenna tuner, by the way, works really good too. Let me show you the tuna. The tuna works good. Let's see. So tap the tuna once and then you hold it. Boom. Just like that. Yeah. And this is the mic, by the way. It's the like the icon style mic. Lights up. It's not bad. I like I said, I just wish the thing had at least 2.9 transmit bandwidth. I would be so happy with that. 2.9. It doesn't have to have a 10 band EQ. Just give me at least, I don't know, half, five band. You know, something I could tailor the high lows and mids with. So if I want to use it in the house. And by the way, when you use this with the Mercury, right? Because I got the Mercury here with 10 watts, you get 1,000 watts, almost 1,000 watts. So why not? That'd be so cool to use this 6100 with the Mercury, 2.9 wide, tailed up EQ. And you tell somebody you're on a 6100, they'll be like, what? You know, everybody using these big anons and the flexes. They hear this thing on the air with uh, Red Shoe audio. Again, I know it's portable, but hey, listen, I had the KX3 here. It had a, a TX EQ processor had all those good stuff yeah it's more expensive but you know what it was still a qrp radio and had all those features and i had the kx3 here hooked up with the kp i think 100 it was and then i would use that as a driver for the big amp whatever and everybody thought i was on this giant radio yeah i could say i was on a flex uh, on the uh, flex 6400 or an icom stadium, and they wouldn't even know i was on a kx3 and i wanted to do this with this as well you know i wanted to bring in the house like i have here Set it up for 2.9 reg two, and then when I went in the field, I went back to my other filter, let's say 2.4 or 2.6, whatever, and I did my Q, uh, my QRP portable work. But it's not versed. It's just yeah, it's just, it's just stuck in portable mode, and eh. Again, it all depends on your style of operation. For me, it doesn't work. So that's pretty much it. What are you gonna do? Again, the receiver is amazing and with these bows companion twos they sound fantastic not watch a movie like that and i do and now you know of course now it's great but still 50 bucks a month and ain't bad i used to use dsl when people were still using dial-up modems so i've been i've been at the game for a while but i just i just could not catch a break for a long while with speed I lowered a little bit more. That was a big jump. If I Let's turn the preamp. Let's see what 20 meters. Oh, we don't need the preamp here. Oh, maybe we do.
Seventeen meters. So there you go. That's the Zygu or Shagu, whatever you want to call it. Uh, X sixty one hundred portable SDR transceiver. Or should we just take the SDR part off and just call it the transceiver? Um, I don't know. Tell me what you think. You know, I guess you could do maybe some, an audio EQ from Ukraine, you know, process the audio and send it back, but you're still going to be 2.4. So to me, it's like a disappointment for my style operation. Again, I wanted to go, I wanted to go from the QTH to QRP back to the, you know, the home QTH again. You know, that, that would be cool. But uh, that's not going to happen. Hopefully, maybe. Maybe they'll update it. You know, maybe they'll do an update where they add the EQ, the processor, and a TXRX EQ for both. That would be sweet. Anyway, thanks for watching. That's the 6100. And um, tell me what you think of yours. I'm sure I was going to be like raving about their 6100. All the QRPP guys. The POTA. Pox on the air. I know you guys love these things. I'll tell you, like I said, and, and another thing, oh, it's built very well. I mean, this thing's solid. It's got some weight to it. The little stands on it, very nice. So I want to say that as well. It's built extremely nice. I mean, I'm not saying don't drop, don't drop it and test it out, but it's nice. The speaking, it's like a tweeter. But overall, it's a nice, nice radio. Hey, listen, if you go portable, you can actually take a little... Maybe some earbuds or something other than this little tiny speaker. But All right, guys. Thanks so much. N2MDX73s and uh, all the best.